This topic today is one I am extremely passionate about. Communication in Dota is something that is heavily misunderstood and is used improperly in the majority of games. And as a result, people never get their teams to make any plays, nothing ever gets done on the map, it takes a minute and a half to actually get someone to smoke, and people think it's all up to luck. It's not, and I'm gonna be giving you five tips in this video to increase your team's efficiency and get people to listen. This pro guide you're about to see is one of hundreds, just like it, over at GameLeap.com. GameLeap is your number one stop to become a specialist in your desired role fast. Check us out today with the discount link in the description below to unlock your hidden potential. But for now, let's hop into the video. So for the first point, I'm gonna give a few examples to start, and I want you to pick out what is similar in each example. Hey, could you pull the lane is pushing? Can we smoke? Alk is farming the jungle. Let's Roche. They have a sniper to stop our push. Can you guys farm for a minute? I want to farm my BKB so we can push. CM, can you ward top shrine? I'm looking to pressure the tier 2. All these lines have one thing in common, one very important thing, and this is my biggest point of the video, and it is why I'm putting it first, because I want, if there's anything you take out of this, it is simply this idea. The why. The main mistake people make when trying to convince their teammates to do anything is simply making a command. Human beings do not like commands ever. If you tell a child to take out the trash, and we're going to psychology here, <laughs> They're going to ask why what is the purpose if you can give an incentive like you can go play video games afterwards or a good reason like hey it's gonna you know help out or hey it's gonna keep everyone in a good mood they're going to be more likely to do it right they're simply going to want to do it because you gave them the why you gave them an explanation because otherwise there's going to be resistance they need to understand why and it is the same thing with everyone in dota stop making calls and not giving a reason so if you look back at those points the first one could you go pull the lane is pushing the why is the lane is pushing if you do not add this part and you just say go pull which is what typically people say just just go pull not even could you go pull which is already a better start but if you just say could you go pull they're going to say why if they don't know why they're just gonna be like no, back off, dude. I know what I'm doing. Back off. But if you say the lane is pushing, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I, I remember. Oh, yeah, the, the lane is pushing. I'm supposed to go pull. I, I forgot, right? That's clearly on me. And one more point just to really give my example. I really like the last one of CM, could you ward top shrine? I'm looking to pressure the tier two. If you tell your supports to ward, they hear it every single game. Every single game, the, the supports are told to ward. Yes, they know to ward. They know exactly what to ward. But not every time do they know why or where they should ward. There's a lot of support players who just throw them down. And as a result, if you say, can you ward top shrine? I'm looking to pressure the tier two. You're not only going to get a ward that helps your gameplay. You're going to understand the game better if you look into talking like this. And you're going to give them the why the an explanation so they're like yeah dude i want to help my i want to help my boy get the tier two i'm totally gonna do that and really just if there's anything you take out it's the why that is my first point hopefully you really take this into consideration and listen to yourself are you giving an explanation are you giving the why so for the second point i just want to make something very clear if you want people to listen play better who wants to listen to the o and eight pudge who has missed 18 hooks in a row Guys, let's be real, okay? If you're telling me, especially, like, let's say we're having a, a conversation and you tell me, okay, my team's not listening to me. What am I supposed to do in this game? If you're feeding, why are they going to listen to you? More often than not, if I'm having a good game, it is very easy to take control of the game, right? Things like having conviction and, and giving the why, like, they're all important, but really, at the end of the day, you have to play well. And that's why if you're not doing well, sometimes you just need to mute everyone because they're going to tilt. That's what's going to happen. So maybe make communication of the games even, or you can feel like the game's in a good state. The landing stage went well. You want to close it out, or you want to take a guess that your team's not full of a bunch of tilters and try some of the other tips. But in general, do understand if you want people to listen, you got to play well to start. Don't expect people to listen to, to a feeder. They want to listen to someone who knows what they're doing. And if you're feeding, you might not know what you're doing. So for the third point, I want to get across something that I think affects people even their like their real lives that really frustrates me. In fact, I see it in the Discord a lot. It's people trying to win the ego battle. Stop trying to prove to me that you're smarter. Okay, I, I don't care. Dota, if you want to improve, is a game where you need to listen to everyone's idea. Listen and question everyone's ideas, right? If I say something to you, I'm totally fine with you questioning me. 
right? But don't shut it down. You understand? Do not shut it down. If you say something to me, I'm going to listen and I'm going to give you a reason why I think it's right or wrong. Okay. And that's how you learn at a base value. And then the second half of this is if you're communicating to your team, don't try to win an argument. First off, if people are tilting, just mute them. Uh, like, I don't understand why people can't mute. J just mute if you can't get along. And the second half is don't create the issue by bringing ego into the equation. Ego is what brings everyone into this angry state of, you know, I'm going to beat you up. I'm not going to listen. You know, I'm not going to join this smoke. Don't try to win it. So here's the amazing example I had with a student recently. So he told me that he tried to convince his team to Roche before pushing high ground like I told him to. And, you know, this is good. This is good. It's the correct play. You shouldn't go high ground in most games before roaching. And however, his team didn't go do it and fed high ground. But where he made the mistake, right after that, he proceeded to explain to them why if they had gone to Roche, the game would have been easy. They would have been won. No problem. We would have, you know, didn't have to dive. No, do not tell people that they're wrong. They know they're wrong. When they get wiped high ground, they know they're wrong. The best thing you can do is say, guys, let's go Roche, you know, very clearly in the mic. Don't hesitate. Guys, let's go Roche. Uh, I think we're going to feed high ground if we run into them. If they say no and they run up anyway, let them do it. Even follow along, follow along. And then when they die, don't say anything. They will realize that they made the mistake. They will understand what you meant. Sometimes they need to die to understand what you meant. Okay. If you then tell them, hey, man, you're so stupid. How could you run high ground? Noob. Who's going to respond to you? What are you doing? Just let them, let them understand what they did wrong. They know. Okay. They just got the point. And because you gave them the why, now they even further get the point because you said, let's go Roche because I think we're going to die high ground to this sniper. Then they really get it. It's all a game of snowballing and, and letting people understand their mistakes without bashing them in the head. Number four is something a bit different. Uh, if you're trying to make sudden calls, like let's say you weren't talking the whole game and things are a bit unclear. You're like, uh, I don't even know if these people want to listen to me or not. Um, you actually might need a bit of repetition. This is something that I've just kind of noticed over time. If I hadn't been talking all game and just focusing on my own game and I'm like, oh, I really want my team to go Roche or Smoke here, then sometimes I'll have to ping it out a couple times. Like I'll ping the Smoke and it's not in the attempt to be annoying. So even in mic, like if you can combine it with like, guys, let's do this, like let's Roche. And then if they don't do it, you just type Roche, 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 Roche. I might be like, well, speed, that sounds really annoying. And yeah, you have to know your audience. If your team's been tilting or people are on edge, don't do that. Don't do that. But if you know it's like a healthy game going on, right? Like no one's tilted yet. You think things are all right. Feel free to ping the Roche pit. And then if no one walks, you say Roche, 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 Roche. Sometimes one time's not good enough. Like once again, the goal is not to be annoying. So you have to kind of gauge the situation. Don't be like, Speed told me to do this. Speed, I yelled at my team to smoke for the last 18 minutes and they didn't do it. You're clearly wrong. It's situational. It's extremely situational. You really have to kind of test this one out, right? This is something where if you do it enough, you'll figure out which situations will you get someone to run down mid with this and which situations where you actually get your team to Roche because sometimes people are very slow and they need to be spam pinged. In fact, when I'm smoking, listen to this. When I'm smoking, I constantly ping the place I need people to go. I say meet here and I start pinging that area. I ping, 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 ping. People get the message. They get it very quickly because otherwise they're like scramming around. They're like, oh, I don't know who has to smoke. <laughs> And the last one I actually think might be the most useful, especially uh, if you're playing party queue with friends or even just actually that's not even true. This might even be most useful in a solo queue environment. And this is communicating in lane. So typically in lane, you want your partner to commit specific spells in specific situations, right? Like, you know what I'm talking about, right, guys? You're in lane. You're like, why didn't my Wyvern W there? Or, we could have killed him there if the juggernaut used spin when I stun. Like, this makes no sense. I'm getting super angry. I'm probably going to run down mid in a couple more minutes. There's one simple fix I have to this, and I think it works unbelievably well. Unbelievably well. And it's not even in combination with the Y. You're probably shocked, like, speed. It's not a Y. It's not a Y situation. No, it's not, actually. In fact, this one is strictly for strictly for casting spells. So if you were trying to get people to cast specific spells at specific times, then why are you saying just go? This is the first point. Why are you just saying go? Who knows what go means? I don't know what go means. I could be in a game with you and I've played 5,000 matches at Dota, uh, close to 6,000 now. I'm not going to have any clue what go means. I have no idea. 
I have no clue. So instead, make it very clear. And this is what I like to do. Let's say you want to go on the Wraith King when he approaches the wave. Say, hey, Mr. Lion. Don't, don't say that. Just say, hey, if the Wraith King approaches this creep, be specific, the melee creep. If the Wraith King approaches the ranged creep, can you stun him? How can anyone mess that up? Even a Herald won't mess that up, right? Make it clear. And what this also proves to me, if you can do that, it means you're also thinking, right? So many players have no clue what's going to happen in the lane. If you can even just make this communication of, hey, I want my support to do this, and then I follow it up with this, do you understand how that's going to put you on another level in terms of just casting spells? No one else does that. Why not? Why not? It takes a quarter of a second to say, okay, if I stun a Sven, can you follow up by using your, your Splinter Blast as Winter Wyvern, or can you cast your Earth Spike, or can you Frost Spite, or can you Wave of Terror? It's that simple. Stop making things vague. Vague causes confusion and helps absolutely no one. It helps absolutely no one. It really does not. And yeah, guys, I, the bigger picture here is it's really a big game of mentality. I want to make that very clear before I end up the video. This is a huge game of mentality. In fact, improving in Dota is 50% mentality, 50% mechanics. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. But if you do, please start thinking about these type of things. How do I keep my team engaged? How do I keep my team wanting to win? And some of the things I mentioned are great places to start because many players, I hear them talking. They're like, yeah, speed, I talk. But at the same time, they just, they literally ruin the game when they're trying to help. And if you can start, you know, maybe identifying what I'm talking about here or even implementing it, you're going to notice big changes because I really want you guys to understand, please, mentality wins Dota. PMA wins Dota. The reason why I accumulated close to a 59% win rate in solo queue for the majority of my climb was not because I was necessarily 59% mechanic win rate player. I wasn't necessarily that much better, but I was unbelievably positive early on. I just was, and I knew how to mute people. I knew how to just not talk back. It's something that just can help you. It really can help you. If you're mechanically skilled and you don't know why you're going up, maybe this is it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please do like, subscribe. I hope this works out for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Are you tired of being hard stuck at your rank? Over at GameLeap.com, we have a library of hundreds of guides authored by pro players and coaches covering literally every aspect of Dota. Whether you're looking to master a new hero or role or just polish up your existing skills, GameLeap is the proven place for competitive gamers to hone their craft and unlock their secret potential. Hit the link on screen right now, right now, to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount, guys, 25%, and start your journey today.